Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, Good evening. everyone. Good evening. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm cooking in this moment. Ah, wow. very good. <laughs> I, I, I can I, I listen, listen to, an to an echo, an echo again. again. I'm sorry. I changed the configuration. Uh, and, and this? Let's see. No, yes. that's, yes, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Master Chef, huh? Uh, uh, Maru-chan, <laughs> in water. <laughs> okay, do you add anything else? Like some people add eggs or cheese, chicken. Hey, yes. Do you add it? Yes. Mm, okay, all right. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. While Henry is cooking, <laughs> let's see who else is here. I can see Celia. Hello, Celia. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Good. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm happy to see you here. And <laughs> also, I can see Juan Jose. Hello, Juan Jose. Hello. Hello, teacher. Where are you? In Prismar. Ah, all right. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for being in the class. Okay, yeah. everybody, welcome, welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for being responsible. I know that it's not easy, right? I know that you are busy, maybe you are tired, but here you are. So, excellent. Remember, just this week and the other week and the level is over so you will be able to go to the next level so keep going and don't give up today we're going to have a lot of practice so i hope everybody is willing to participate okay let's see i'm going to start uh, just let me tell you once again Remember that attendance is really important. Uh, remember that you had to be here in the class the two hours, right? Try to connect the complete minutes, please. And don't forget to work on the platform, okay? That's the details that you have to keep in mind all the time. Some of you already finished uh, the week number three. Some of you haven't, so please continue working, okay? Now, do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. What was the topic? Progressive present and, um, and the present. <laughs> That's very good very good exactly so present progressive and the simple present so today we are going to continue practicing just one more practice about a topic and later we will continue with a different topic okay let me start sharing the presentation can everybody see the presentation yes teacher Yes, excellent. So today is February 15th and we still are in the week number three. Okay, just one more week, everybody. Now, as you said, we studied simple present versus the present progressive. What is the difference? When can I use simple present and when can I use the present progressive? What simple is the difference? Simple present is continuous is an activity continuous and for example simple present uh -huh. example i get up at 7 p.m all right like a routine yes all and right. present continuous is activity right now 
for example, example I am studying English. Very good. Excellent. Exactly. So present simple, as your classmate said, is for repetitive actions, routines, right? Something that we do daily or with a certain frequency. And the present progressive basically is just an activity that is happening in this moment, that is happening right now. Okay, we are going to have a practice. I'm going to share with you some sentences and you have to decide what will be the complete sentence. You have to choose the best form of the verb. If you consider that will be in simple present or if it is going to be in simple, uh, I'm sorry, in the present progressive. So look at the first sentence says, Thomas, da -da 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 -da, his teeth every day. So what would be the correct answer? What do you think? See, cleans. Cleans. <laughs> Why? Why do you think that is clean? Every day. Very routine. good. So we got every day. Every day is talking about frequency. Very good. Okay, volunteer for reading the number two, please. Only Did one. Have a question. Yes, go ahead. Trouser, what the meaning? Trousers is like pants or jeans. That's the meaning. Georgina is wearing her new trouser today. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Georgina is wearing. Uh-huh, yes or no, what do you think? Yes. What is trouser? Trousers is like pants or pants. jeans. Jeans, oh, okay. Yes, what happens everyone yeah. is that trousers is a little bit more British, right? But basically we are talking about the same thing, <laughs> like this. This is trouser, okay? I think that is the... The be the correct answer. The what? The letter, letter B. Okay, why? Why do you think that is the letter B? Because you, um, this talk, we are talking about um, the activities that is frequently to, to do. Okay. However, look at the phrase here. It says hey. today. So if I say today, what do you think? What am I saying? Do you think that is a routine or am I talking about an action that is happening in this moment? What do you think? I think the action, actually. Is happening in this moment? Yes. Exactly. Now, Look at this. There are some phrases that will gives you uh, will give you like a clue about the present progressive. Not always will say now or right now. Not always. Another phrase that can express present continuous, for example, is at the moment, right? Today, these days. These phrases are like very related to the present continuous. And with the simple present, basically the key is the frequency adverbs. If you see frequency adverbs or a frequency action, so that means simple present, okay? So in this case, the correct one is wearing. That's one. Georgina is wearing her new trousers today. Okay. Now, what about the number three? What will be the answer in the number three? I don't go 
to the liber library library every week. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, do you agree? I don't go to the library every week. What do you think? Is that correct or not? No, I am not going. To. Okay, I am not going to the library every week. So we got two options here. Anybody? What do you think? I'm going to library. Is possible? Is positive or negative question? Ah, very good. In this case, the sentence is in negative. Okay. So what do you think? Can I say? First of all, what you need to identify is simple present or present continuous? Simple present. Be quiet. Press every week. Ah, look. Mm -hmm. Every week indicates habits. frequency, right? Exactly. Routine, habits. So, can I use I'm going? No. Oh, no. Not really, because is simple go. present, right? Mm -hmm. Can I say, I am not going? Is this no. sentence? No, right? Because it's not simple present. What is the only options that I have? Don't go. Don't go, exactly. So that's the correct answer. That is what you have to do, everyone. First, identify is simple present or is present continuous. Okay, now let's go to the number four. Volunteer for reading, please. Rosa and Elena write to their grandmother every, every week. Okay, she said right. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes, if you see every week, frequency. Okay, now, number five, I want to listen to a boy. Only the girls are participating, so boys. No, and me? Oh, yeah, 22, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, who wants to read the number five? Boys, go ahead. Only one, please, my goodness. Sure. Andres and uh, Kim uh, don't make their best very day. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes. No. In this case, every day, again, mm -hmm. frequency, right? And if it is simple present, we cannot use ing. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. number six. Who wants to read the number six? Hi, teacher. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, uh, I, I am not wearing my glasses at the moment. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Is that correct? Correct. Definitely. Correct. Look at the moment, probably. At the moment, exactly. At the moment means present continuous. Very good. Number seven, volunteer, please. We are having our breakfast now. All right, everybody, is that correct? Yes. Look, now, present continues. Number eight, who wants to read the number eight? Yes? A question about seven. Yes, go ahead. Mm. I remember the bear have mm, it's no much action or no action. I don't, I don't remember. Actually, you are right. To be honest, everyone, the bear having is not common to use it with ing. It's exactly the same with the bear love. It's not common to say, I am loving right? I am having, 
it's not so frequent to use this type of verbs in ing you can use it yes however it's not common okay that what happens with these verbs all right number eight please uh -huh. Tomar usually Toma, play. Toma usually would not he is the piano. Okay. okay, so we got two options here. In the first part, what do you think? Place, play, place. Which one is the correct one? The correct. Place. 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 Okay. Place. In the second one. Now he is playing. Is playing. So playing. the correct one, letter C, do you agree? Yes. Definitely. So don't forget, everyone. If it is third person, you need the letter S. It doesn't matter if you have the auxiliary. Okay. I'm sorry that you have the, the mo uh, frequency adverb. You always need to add the letter S. Okay, let's move on to the number nine. Katia, ta, 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 swimming now. Is going. Is going, going swimming? Now. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, teacher. Definitely. Very good. Okay, the number 10, it has this uh, watermark, but my friends, what do you think? Are running, playing? are running or is running in the park currently? My friends are running in the park currently. Okay, everybody. Do you agree, everyone? What do you think? What is the meaning of currently? Actualmente. Exactly, so do you agree? Yes. Definitely, very good. So if you see everyone, it's very easy to identify when do we need to use the present simple and when we need to use the present progressive. Basically, you just have to pay attention in the phrases, right? If you see phrases like now, right now, at the moment, today, these days, so you know that represents ongoing actions. So present progressive. But if you see that there are some frequency adverbs, if you see that they are talking about routines, so you know that it's going to be simple present. So everyone, any questions so far? No questions about this topic? Okay, well, if you don't have questions, let's move on. But before continue, I need to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Abigail Mejia. Abigail Mejia. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Andrea Amalia, yes, there you are, okay. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Elizabeth. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present Miss. Okay, Celia Cristina. Present. All right, Henry Alberto. Here I am teacher. All right. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Jorge Jonathan. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Right. Karen Rocío. Present. Very good. Eh, let's see, let's see. Carla Sofía. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Very good. Lady Xiomara. 
Okay. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Ok. Nelson Orlando. Present. Ok. Sandra Abigail. Present. Ok. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Very good. Eh, Jan Siquelita. Um, José Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's start today's topic. Let me share again the presentation. Just remember everyone, it's important the attendance. Okay, always keep in mind that. Now, can you see oops, the presentation again? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes okay. teacher. What is the topic? The verbs in the past. In the past. Okay. Do you remember this topic, everyone? So, so. Okay. And the rest of you? <laughs> I remember. <clears throat> okay. For me, it's more this the more difficult thing. Okay. All right. And the rest of you, everyone? What do you think? Do you remember this topic? Huh. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes? Okay. Yeah. So I know that sometimes to talk in simple past is a little bit difficult because there are many verbs that you have to memorize. The regulars are very simple because you just need to add ed, but the pronunciation is difficult. And the irregulars is difficult because they change totally right so it's a little bit complicated so today well during this week and the next week we are going to focus on the simple past okay so the idea is that you can perfectly talk using the regulars and the irregulars okay so the objective for today volunteer for reading please participate Participants will be able to describe activities using simple past. Thank you. So that's the idea. I want you to be able to describe activities, to describe what you do, but using the simple past. Okay? So let's start reading. We are going to see a small conversation. This is an example how we can talk using the simple past. If you see in the conversation, basically we are using a lot of the verb to be. So to start talking in simple past, first we will start with the verb to be. And later we will talk using different verbs. So volunteer for readings, who wants to I, read? I, Thank I, you. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. ¿Quién dijo ahí? Luis. Luis, ¿Me? okay. Luis and who say me? Abby. Abby, thank you. Luis, you will be Lana. Abby, you will be Lorna. Go ahead. Give me a second. Le di demasiado zoom. Dame a second. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training the last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was uh, awesome. awesome. It was Awesome. Oh, awesome. It was at the new hotel. So great. Tell me every everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came don't kidding who are the speaker perdón who were the speaker oh let's see andrew jason from england and magali sanini from brazil i love me saying she was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You 
are right. Very good. Thank you, everyone. So be careful with some pronunciation. For example, this one is awesome. Awesome. What is the meaning of awesome? What do you think? Asombroso. Asombroso. Yes. So awesome is when we are talking about exactly something positive that is like great, right? That is super good. It's amazing. So that is the meaning of awesome. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. For example, instead of going to the party, you can stay here in the class. That is awesome. awesome. <laughs> ah, when your boss says, hey, you need to do overtime. Yes, boss. That's awesome. <laughs> right? So something. <laughs> All right. Pronunciation of this word? Hotel. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay. What was the conversation about? Training. It was about a training. Yes. And what happened in the training? Many inter international speakers came. Ah, very good. Where were um, the speakers from? England, England and, and Bra Brazil. Brazil. England and Brazil, very good. So let's pay attention to the structures that we need to use. We are going to talk in simple past, but using the verb to be. The verb to be in simple present is am, is, are. But in simple past, we only have two forms. What are the forms of the verb to be in past? Was, were. Exactly, was and where, all right? So let's pay attention in the affirmative. I know that this is a topic that you already know. Remember, this is just a review. So. Affirmative sentence, you just need to add was or where. For example, the training was very helpful. That's affirmative. Or if it is in plural, all the employees were happy to attend. Okay, plural. If it is in negative, what is the difference? What do I need to add in the negative form? Mm -hmm. Do I need auxiliary in negative? Was or not. Ah, very good. In negative, I just need to add not. So if it is in singular, for example, it was not or contracted, it wasn't, it wasn't difficult. If it is in plural, were not, or contracted, weren't. For example, we weren't unwilling to help, okay? So, is it clear the affirmatives and the negative form using the verb to be? Yes. Yes? Remember, this is just a review, okay? So let's read this paragraph and then we are going to answer some questions. So let's see, let's see. I'm going to pick someone. I'm going to pick two, hmm, Carlos, Carlos Alberto, are you there? Hello, Carlos. Hmm, okay, I think that he's not there. Okay, let's see, Karen, are you there? Yes. Okay, thank you. Karen, can you read the paragraph, please? Um, I'm doing, I'm going to do it bigger. Give me a moment, okay. Marie went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. 
the training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damage. Damages. Oh, damage. On it, the presenter was really helpful and he clarified all two books. Doubts. Marija, he used a computer to present a sample during the speech. During the speech. The speech. Very good. Thank you, Karen. So let's see the answers. How was the training according to the paragraph? It was boring or interesting. What? Ah, was it interesting. was interesting. What? Okay. And when was the training? In Guatemala. Last Tuesday. Well, uh, ah, sorry, look. sorry. <laughs> okay, last when? Thursday. Last Tuesday. Tuesday. Where? Guatemala. In Guatemala. In Guatemala. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, what about this question? Did you like it? According to the paragraph, what do you think? Yes. Ah, and what did you learn? How to fix the equipment? Equipment? Equipment. Very good. Uh -huh. Use and yes. So how to fix equipment and how to prevent damages on end. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Was the presenter helpful? Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Wow, yes. right? Very good. And did he use examples? Yes. Yes, very good. So let me ask you, everyone. When was the last time you went to a training? When was the last training that you had? Three years ago. Three years ago, okay. The and last you? week. Last, last month. week, last month, okay, very good. And how was the training? Was great. Okay. And the rest of you, how was the training? The was last very training? interesting. Okay. Because I learned, I learned a new, new uh, programming language. No sé si. <laughs> yes, you can say that. Okay. <laughs> very good, interesting, okay. So everyone, the Teacher, rest. Of, uh huh. Sorry, I don't understand the question five. <laughs> the number five. Yes. Ah, okay. Was the presenter? When we say the presenter is the person who gives the training. Okay. For example, look at this picture. In this picture, this one is the presenter, and helpful means like useful so the presenter help you for example fue de utilidad el presenter yes or no okay. that is the meaning of that question yes ah, okay thank yes. you teacher you're welcome okay and the rest of you everyone remember your last training what did you learn uh-huh or you forgot what you learned in the training. Oh my goodness. What did you learn in your last training? Huh? I <coughs> learned to use Phoenix. Okay, Celia, can you repeat? 
I learn uh -huh. to use Phoenix is a program for protocolo. Ah, okay. Sounds good. And Luis, how about you? If I learn about the company, um, the vision and mission. The mission and the vision. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, sounds good. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So everyone, if you see, you're talking in simple past already. Let's see the, uh, this exercise. Um, I want to everybody try to complete it, please. We're going to see these sentences and I want you to decide if it is was, where, wasn't or weren't. A quick exercise, everyone. I'm going to try it, to do it bigger. Can you see the exercise, everyone? Yes. Five sentences. I'm going to give you two minutes, analyze the sentences and decide. Was, where, wasn't or weren't. For example, the number one, where, look, then it says where. you, where. so, ah, where were you last night? And then it says, I called you, but you, ta ta ta, at home. Waiting at home. Ah, wearing. Why do you think that this is negative? Because um, the call, but uh, arrow. <laughs> Actually, you have the, the answer. Because use but. Ah, but. but that is the key. Because remember that but expressed contrast. Okay. Now, analyze the sentences. I will give you two minutes and then I will ask in one by one. So read the sentences, please. You can complete the sentences in your notebooks. Choose the correct answer. You ready or not yet? Wait, sure. Ready? No, no, no. Wait. No? Wait. Okay. Try to complete the exercise, everyone. I want to everybody try to do it. I will be asking one by one. So complete the exercise. If you have a question, 
tell me. If you don't understand the vocabulary, tell me, please. Teacher, question. Go ahead. In the tree, mm -hmm. I remember I. Yes, this is mm -hmm. the subject. I remember I. Da, 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 da. So, this is the subject. I remember I. Okay. If you have questions, tell me, everyone. Let me know when you're ready. Can I have a question with the five sentence? Number five, yes. Uh, the word tired is a verb. No, this is an adjective. Ah, okay. For example, at the end of the day, when you finish work, how do you feel when you arrive home? You are like, oh my gosh. So you feel tired. What is okay. that? It's like exhausted. Okay. Okay. Very good. So that is Thank an adjective. You. You're welcome. I'm finished. Excellent. Very good. Everybody, you ready? Yes. Yes. And the rest of you, class, are you ready? Yes. All right. I will be asking individually. So sentence number two, let me ask two. two, 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 two. Carol, Carol Elizabeth, can you tell me the answer in the number two? And no, miss, I'm word in my cell phone uh, oh. movie the... <laughs> oh it's okay it's okay let me pick someone else so in that case uh, who say me mm -hmm. atilio okay mm -hmm. go ahead okay atilio um where where sandra happy after the exercise no, she was wearing, not. She weren't. Okay, let's see. Like this? No, she weren't. Okay. She weren't. She yes. weren't. Okay. She wasn't. Mm, what do you think, everybody? Do you agree? No. No. Why no. not? Was, was Sandra. Was, was Sandra. Ah, okay. Be careful, Atilio, because in this case, we are talking about Sandra. Sandra is their person, right? It's like if we are talking about she. So we cannot say where. We have to say? Was. Exactly. So this is a question. Was Sandra happy after the exam? So if the answer is no. Wasn't. Ah, no, she wasn't. Very good, very good. Okay, let's move on to the number three. Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Tony, can you tell me the answer on the number three? Hello, Tony, you there? Okay, so let's see. Juan Jose, number three, go ahead. Hello, teacher. I'm driving. I can't read oh. right now. It's okay. No worries. Sorry, sorry. Edwin, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Is uh, I remember I was very worried, but you weren't come. 
All right. You were calm. Like you, weren't, this? you weren't calm. Okay. Do you agree, everyone? I think were. Instead of where, where, and sure. where, where, why? Because in the first uh, person is worried, but you were calm. Exactly. Again, look, the word but is representing contrast. What does it mean? Normally, if the one, the first sentence is in affirmative and I have the word but, that means contrast. So the next sentence will be the opposite. So in this case, we cannot say like that. So we are saying that the first person was worried, but the other person, what was the contrast? Calm. Exactly. Calm. The other person, totally calm. So the correct answer is, I remember I was worried, but you were calm. That's the contrast. Very good. Okay. Next one, Abigail, go ahead, number four. Betty and Paul weren't at home. They were at the cinema. All right, everybody, do you agree? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes very yes, good. Teacher. Exactly, very good. Okay, volunteer for the last one, number five. Me, teacher. Yes, Kenya, go ahead. Were you tired after the concert? Yes, I was. Very good. Excellent job. So everyone, these are the correct answers. The most important here is, just remember, singular, we say was. Plural, we say were. That's the most important detail that you have to keep in mind. Questions, everybody, with this topic? Questions with the exercise? No? No, teacher. Okay, easy or difficult? What do you think? Hmm. Easy. Easy, very good. So remember, this is just a quick review, okay? Now, I wanted to talk, I want to everybody participates. <laughs> Let me ask you some questions in simple past. For example, were you a good uh, elementary school student? Elementary school is, for example, seventh grade, uh, when you were at the school, not high school, okay? Were you a good student? Yes or no? Yes. Are you sure? I suppose that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And the rest of you, everyone? Were you good students at the school? Uh, yes. yes, I was. Ah. Yes, I was. How about in high school? Were you good students? Yes, yes I was. No rebels? No. <laughs> okay, okay, I hope so. Volunteer for reading the question number two, please. Where were you at? Uh, ah. sorry. Where were you at seven o'clock last night? All right, thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. The ones who were in the class. Tell me, where were you at seven o'clock last night, huh? I, I was driving to my house. Ah, very good. <laughs> driving to, all right. Uh-huh, and the rest? Where were you at seven o'clock last night? I was in the restaurant with my wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my goodness. Uh-huh. Who else? Where were you at seven o'clock last night? I was at home. Very good, very good. Okay, question three, volunteer for reading. 
Were you busy yesterday? Why? Why not? Aha, uh -huh. everyone. Were you busy? What is the meaning of busy? Mm. Don't okay. have time. Okay. Exactly. Wow. You have a lot of things to do. You don't have free time. You have a lot of work. So that is busy. Were you busy yesterday, everyone? Yes. Why? Because yesterday, the last day mm -hmm. to present the Tax declara, declara, I don't know. Declaración de impuesto. Oh, the declaration, the taxes, you mean? Okay. Yes. All right. So, very good. And the rest of you? Were you busy yesterday, everyone? Hello, participate. Yes, I'm here, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. Were you busy <laughs> yesterday before going to the restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't yesterday, it was today. Ah, okay. And yesterday, were you busy or not? Yes, yes. Why? I was busy because uh, I was working every day and after that uh, I had to work here at home for All that right. reason. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, and the last question, everyone, what was your favorite TV show when you were younger? Try to remember, what was your favorite TV show? Uh huh. Kings of Zodiac. <laughs> A classic one. Okay. Uh huh. The rest of you? Dragon Ball Z. Ah, very good. What else? Another TV show that you liked when you were younger? El Chavo del Ocho. <laughs> very good. Very good. Uh -huh. The Supersonicos. Wow, I, I remember that one. Nice. ¿Qué dice la gente? <laughs> what was that? I don't remember that <laughs> one. <laughs> es un uh, programa de la televisión venezolana. Ah, okay. All right. So, do you remember? Well, I don't know if you remember this one, but the Avatar, The Last Airbender. I don't yes. know if, yes, that was my favorite TV show when I was younger. <laughs> well, actually it's still my favorite cartoon, but that's a very nice TV show. Depends you, of the age. Why? Uh, Avatar Last Airbender, he's, uh, he was uh, 10 years ago. Yeah, um, I, I, I was younger 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> It's yes. depending on the age. Yeah, could be, could be. <laughs> That's not part of the class. <laughs> no, come on, I'm, I'm 30 years old, so there is not a lot of difference between you and me. I think that we are, we are all in the same age, like in the same rate. Do you remember another national TV show here in El Salvador? For example, I don't I don't know if you remember Chivisimo. Do you remember that TV show? Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, yes, that's a, another yeah, one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. El so, el, el, el CPT, oh my gosh. Yes, that's true. That's in the true. Semana. A, it doesn't exist anymore, right? None oh, of them. Yeah. Ya ninguno de esos, right? No, ni Domingo. No, 
todos. Domingo para todos. Domingo para todos. Yeah. Wow. Imagine. Hoy sí ya me sentí vieja, pero bueno. All right. Very good. Grandiosas. Ah, I didn't like that one, but is it still exist or not anymore? ¿Cómo es que se llamaba? I remember the Spanish title. Title is Los Años Maravillosos. Ah, yeah, that was a very nice. I, I remember I was a child <laughs> when <laughs> when I saw the, the TV show. Defend of the age. Defend of the age. That's true. Very good point. <laughs> in How, yeah, uh -huh. uh, yo ni siquiera había nacido. Ah, come on. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, no, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Henry, how old are you? <laughs> uh huh, Henry? 40. 40? 40. 40. Ah, so you see, there is not so much difference. Come on. <laughs> I, I play Atari. <laughs> you play what? I play Atari. Atari. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what's that. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, the uh, thing of the edge. I he, need to he, Google it. <laughs> he okay. was he was hippie in the in the university. Ah, mm, okay. <laughs> All right. So we will continue talking about oof, some years ago, and now. Let's see, listening practice. Let's see if you can identify the simple past. Remember in this moment, we are paying attention only in the verb to be, was and where, okay? Later, we are going to be practicing the verbs, little by little, okay? In this moment, only was and where. So there are some people they will be talking about uh, their vacations. So I want you to listen what they say, and I want you to match these phrases with the correct adjective. For example, the number one, they will be talking about the weather, for example. Pay attention and you have to listen what was the weather like was fantastic or was terrible, I don't know. So pay attention and match, okay? Let me open up the exercise so you can see it a little bit bigger. Let's see, let's see. Can you see the exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. Okay, pay a lot of attention, microphones off everyone to avoid interferences. If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. Pay attention, here we go. One. Did you have a nice vacation? It was nothing special. The weather was terrible. That's too bad. Two. Did you enjoy your trip to Vancouver? Yeah, it was fantastic. The people are so nice. Three. How was your ski trip? Awful. Why? There was no snow. Four. So how was your trip to France? Very disappointing. It was so crowded everywhere. We couldn't even get a hotel room. That's too bad. You should never go in July. Now you tell me. Five. When did you get back from the beach? Last weekend. I had a terrific time. I swam every day, and I learned how to windsurf. Great. Six. Did you have a nice vacation? It was terrible. The food was awful, and the hotel wasn't clean at all. Oh, that's too bad. Seven. So, how was your trip to Thailand? I had a wonderful time. The shopping was fantastic, and the people were great. Sounds like you had fun. I did. Eight. Did you have a great vacation? Really great, but it was too short. Really? How long was it? Only a month. A month? You're lucky.
All right, everyone, could you listen to the audio? Yes, teacher. Yes. Do you have the answers or do you want to listen it to one more time? Mm. Listen one more time. One more time. time. <laughs> one more time? No worries. The weather was terrible. All right, let's see. I'm going to play it one more time and then we're going to verify the answers. So sure. again, microphones off. Yes, do you have a question? Yes, uh, the, the letter uh, to repeat, no sé si se pueden repetir las, la, las letras que vayan con el número. <laughs> no. How, what do you mean? Por ejemplo, El uno puede ser A y, y la tres también. Como oh, gente. no, you cannot repeat. No. no. Ah, okay. No, you cannot okay. repeat. <laughs> okay. okay, no worries. Okay, everyone, I'm going to play it again. Pay attention, please. Microphones off. One. Did you have a nice vacation? It was nothing special. The weather was terrible. That's too bad. Two, did you enjoy your trip to Vancouver? Yeah, it was fantastic. The people are so nice. Three, how was your ski trip? Awful. Why? There was no snow. Four, so how was your trip to France? Very disappointing. It was so crowded everywhere. We couldn't even get a hotel room. That's too bad. You should never go in July. Now you tell me. Five. When did you get back from the beach? Last weekend. I had a terrific time. I swam every day and I learned how to windsurf. Great. Six. Did you have a nice vacation? It was terrible. The food was awful. And the hotel wasn't clean at all. Oh, that's too bad. Seven. So how was your trip to Thailand? I had a wonderful time. The shopping was fantastic and the people were great. Sounds like you had fun. I did. Eight. Did you have a great vacation? Really great, but it was too short. Really? How long was it? Only a month. A month? You're lucky. Aha, uh -huh, everyone. Do you have the answers now? The weather was terrible. Como es? Terrible. Okay, the weather was terrible. Everyone, terrible. do you agree? Yes. 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 So the weather was terrible how about the number two the people were nice ah, nice the people were nice okay number three what was the answer the skip trip was awful awful, awful. what is what is what is the meaning of awful yeah, so awful is like a synonym of terrible, right? Really? Really? Yes, exactly. That is awful. Okay, number four. Their trip to France was very... Disappointing? Disappointing. Disappointing. Okay, disappointing. Everybody, do you agree? Yes? Yes. 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 So, disappointing. Disappointing. What is the meaning of disappointing? Any idea? Okay, disappointing. Mm, disappointing is, imagine that you studied for the exam. Oh, you studied a lot, but at the end you got zero in the exam. How do you feel? <gasps> My gosh. ¿Cómo se sentirían? How would you feel? 
Decepcionado. Exactly. So that is the meaning of disappointing. Exactly. So, ¿cómo estuvo yeah. el viaje? I, the trip was disappointing. Right? So, that means that it was bad. Okay? Now, number five. Her trip to the beach was fantastic. Terrific. Okay, fantastic or terrific? Terrific. 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 Okay, fantastic. question. In this case, terrific is positive or negative? What do you think? Positive. Is positive, yes. I know when you see Terrific, that sounds like in Spanish, right? Like bad, something negative. But in English, the adjective terrific means something good. For example, if I ask you, hey, everybody, how are you today? I teacher today, I'm terrific. That means like excellent or great or fantastic so that is the meaning of terrific so terrific in english is not negative it's like positive got it yes now look at the next one number six the hotel wasn't clean clean Okay, give, give me a second. I need the drawing. Okay, the hotel wasn't clean. clean. Very good. Very good. Okay, how about the shopping in Thailand? Fantastic. Fantastic. Was fantastic. Very good. And the last one, his vacations was too short. 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 Very good. So everyone, is it clear the adjectives that we got here? Yes? Yes. All the adjectives? Any questions so far? No? Okay. In this case, these people, they were talking about their vacations right they were giving details about their vacations so that's what i want you to do right now we are going to talk about the last vacation when was your last vacation everyone do you remember yes when when was the your last year, vacation may like it last year on May last year, okay. And the rest of you, everyone, do you remember your last vacation? Oh, sorry, sorry. My my last vacation is in this year, two uh -huh. weeks ago. Two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very recently, okay. So everyone, we are going to talk about the last vacations, okay? There are some questions that I want you to answer. For example, when was your last vacation? So we are going to use the verb to be in past. So in this case, the answer could be like, ah, it was last year, for example, or ah, it was, last month or you can say ah it was in july in december so you have to tell me when okay now look at the next question how was it and why so how was your vacation everyone do you remember your last vacation? How was it? Uh-huh. You don't remember your last vacation? Nice. It was nice, okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Look, 
you can use the adjectives that we saw in the exercise. So you can say, ah, you know what? If it is something positive, my vacation was nice. Okay, why? So you can tell me because I was at the beach. I was at home or I was, I don't know, in Guatemala, for example. Or if something negative, you can say, ah, it was awful. Why? I, because I was bored. Ah, because I was in pandemic. <laughs> I don't know, something like that, right? So you have to tell me how was your vacation, but tell me why, okay? Then the next question, where were you? Do you remember your last vacation? Where were you, everyone? Uh-huh, where were you? Ah, I was at the beach. Another one, where were you? I was, think about your last vacation. Where were you? I was on the Chalatenango Lake. I'm ah, very good. Um, I was in the Eramo Mountain. Mountain. Mountain sounds good. Very nice. Um, I, I was, was in the Puerto Parada. No sé cómo se dice manglares. I'm not sure. Let me search. Manglares. Okay. But sounds like you were in different places. Yes. All right. Who else? Look, if you want to say manglares, they say that is mangrove. Like this. Mangrove. Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Who else, everyone? Where were you on your last vacation? I was okay. junto a las flores. Ah, nice. Very good. And I was in the Tazumal. All right, interesting. So you see, you have to answer using the verb to be in past. Now, the next question says, who were you with? So here I'm asking about people. So you can say, ah, uh, I was with my family, with my friends, with my husband or with my wife, with my children. I don't know. Who were you with? Do you remember on your yes, last vacation? I was, with, I was with my brother. My, Very good. In, some, in different time, I was my brother too, my, my mom, my girlfriend, my child. All right. My grandmother too. That's great. Very good. Uh -huh, everyone. And you? Do you remember I who were you with? I was. I was team Claro and um, Beach. With oh, team. No. Oh, very good. So you can say I was with my co-workers. Very good. Yes. Excellent. So good. So good. Okay, so you see everyone, you are talking in past. And the last question, how long were you on vacations? How long? One month, one week, uh, five days. I don't know, how long were you on vacations? One day, one day. Oh. Only, only one day, one <laughs> only one, one day. week, okay. One and the week? rest of you, one week. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so everyone, this is what we are going to do right now, but in teams, okay? So we are going to talk about our last 
vacations. And the questions that we just answered in these moments are the answers that I wanted to discuss. So try to give details, okay? I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group. And remember, you can use the adjectives that appears there. So if it was like very good vacation, try to use positive adjectives. But if it is well, something like negative, okay, try to use the negative adjectives, okay? The idea is I want to everybody participate. I want to everybody talk, okay? I'm going to create the groups. Give me a moment. Du -du 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 -du. I know that there are like a lot of listeners today. So if you are in a group where nobody is talking, please tell me so I will switch you to another team. Okay, I understand that the ones who says oyentes, just listeners, right? So you are not going to participate. So let me switch some people. So please, if you will participate, try to remove the word oyente, please. I want to everybody tries to participate. Okay, let's go to practice, everyone. In this moment, the groups will be a little bit bigger, okay? So there will be around four people in the group. So, para que el tiempo nos alcance, please, todos vayan respondiendo una pregunta. For example, question number one. A, when was your last vacation? Asegurémonos de que todos respondamos la primera pregunta. Cuando ya todos hayan respondido, then we can move to the question number two. And you say, how was it? So everybody answer the question number two. Okay, that's the idea. So everybody, let's go to practice and don't forget zero Spanish. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. I can't read the question, but I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first? Uh -huh. What is the first question? Hello? Yes? Read. What is the first uh -huh. question? Read the first question. Okay. When was your last vacation? Okay, my last vacation was in December last year. And my wife and me went to Pital, Chalatenango. Um, Celia? Um, I, my was vacation, my I was vacation for 
in December and beach cuckoo. Um, my lights um my no I am was vacation in November. I go I was and go to beach Cangrejera. Okay. Uh, the question two how was it it why? How was it? It was great. We spent a good time in family and we took the sun and uh, swim in the beach and the pool. And in the night we saw the start. It was a good time. We spent a good time. It was great. Um, Celia? Uh, it was nice because I was time with my family. In my case, um, it was uh, fantastic. So, zero stress uh, and I like uh, uh, visit uh, family well, uh, my last vacation was um Three months ago, I think, and I went to the Cocoa Beach, Cocoa Beach, and it was funny. It was, uh, it was fantastic because, um, I my family, uh, it was there with with me. No, it where sería, verdad? Porque son ellos. Okay. And only with that. Okay. Uh, question number two. Who was it? Why? <laughs> Carla. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hola. Hello. Uh, in my case is uh, <clears throat> uh tired <laughs> because uh, I I clean up my house for for vacation. <laughs> And sleep all day. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my case, uh, it was very nice because in this place, um, it has uh, beautiful places. I was in the... Um, Atitlan Lake in Panajachel. It's so beautiful place. And the history is very interesting too. And in Antigua, Guatemala, uh, it's nice too. The many places are very interesting history and the streets are, I like, and in the people is many, um, I don't know what to say, in many 
Um, eh, amable. Caluroso. I don't, I don't want to say. Kind. Yeah. The, I like this place because it's, it's more, it's more quiet. Yes. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Who's next? Okay. Abigail. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's a new. Uh -huh. I Tell us. Kishimon is very nice. I enjoy it with my family, my mother, and. Only that, Matthew, sorry. All right, uh -huh. who else? Jose, Ezequiel. Is that the same question or another question? No, the same question. How was it? Who was it? Why? Who was? How was it? Why? Um, I think I replied the question with the first answer. <laughs> um, I said it was funny, and I said it was um uh, fantastic because my family were with me. Mm -hmm. okay. And how how about Carol? How about? Carol, Carol, are you here? She said, don't participate. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Yes, me. <laughs> uh, but uh, I work in the moment. Okay, no worries. Okay, number uh, three. Where were you? Mm. Teacher, we finish. Finish teacher. <laughs> ah, very efficient. <laughs> uh, hi everyone. Tell me, how was your last vacation? Was it Kenya good? Was, was Kenya was an interesting vacation. Why? What happened? Uh, my last vacation was interesting because I went to Mexico with my brother and I was in Mexico in no in last November and I knew new places. It was fantastic. Nice. Very good. Aha. Uh -huh. And you everyone, how was your vacation? What else? Who else? Who else? I go with my mother. Uh, she's come to the country uh, in, in the last December. All right. I, I, I don't, she see uh, three years ago. A lot of time. Oh my gosh. Yes. She living in Spain. In Spain? In Spain. Oh my gosh, very far. All right, okay, sounds good. Uh huh. And Elgin, how about you? Uh, my vacation was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because uh, I I was to visit my parents on December uh, in. Metapan. All right. Uh -huh. what, how, how was the weather? Was it cold? It's, no, it's very hot. Hot. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Atilio. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. sorry. Okay. Atilio, how about you? How was your vacation? 
uh, I'm on vacation, very well, care because I uh, finished building the my house. Oh my gosh! So you had to work on vacations. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Abby, how about you? How was your vacation? She's um, not here, teacher. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, everyone, interesting. Very good job. So now let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go yes. back. <laughs> Okay, time's up. Time's up, time's up. We are going to wait for everyone to go back. Very interesting stories about your vacations. Nice. Okay, let's wait for everybody. There are some people still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. Okay, everyone, very good. Let's go back, let's go back. How was the practice? Easy, difficult, 50-50? What do you think? Uh-huh. Easy teacher. Easy, very good. And the rest of you? How did you feel the practice? Uh-huh. Easy or difficult? Did your classmates so, teacher? So so did your classmate use was and where? Yes, teacher. Yes? Did your in classmate? Yes. <laughs> okay. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. A little bit. Remember, try to avoid Spanish. Okay. Only English. Only English. That's the attitude. Super good because I was listening to you guys. You were trying to give details. That's great. I know that in these moments we are just using the verb to be. Okay. No worries. Little by little, we will continue practicing the verbs. Okay. So I know that in this moment, sometimes we don't know how to say go, for example, or we don't know how to say travel in, in simple past. No worries. Little by little, we are going to check. Okay. Now, details that I was listening. Look at this. For example, in the night. Can I say that? In the night? At night. Ah, very good. Remember, in the night, no. We can use in the, when we say morning, for example, or in the afternoon, but night, mm -mm. at night. Ah, I was talking about my vacation. Ah, my vacation was tired. Can I say that? It was tired. Yes or no? No. Why not? What Be, do you think? Because it's using was uh, and it's not a it's not a um, a subject. Okay. So look, imagine that it's, instead of it, we can say my vacations, right? So my vacation was tired. The problem with this sentence is the adjective, okay? So everyone, we have a difference between tired and tiring. Tired, we are going to use tired when we are talking about feelings. For example, I can ask you, everyone, how are you? 
Hi, teacher. Today I'm tired. So that's a feeling. Tiring, the translation is the same. It's exactly the same translation. The difference is tiring is when you want to give characteristics. Okay? For example, imagine, yo les pregunto, ¿cómo estuvo la película? How was the movie? I'm sorry, how was the work? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? ¿El trabajo tiene feelings? No, no right? Al trabajo le podemos dar characteristics. So podemos decir, the work or the job was tiring. Okay? So that's the point. Be careful with feelings and characteristics. In this case, if I'm talking about my vacations, ¿qué le puedo dar a vacations? ¿Le puedo dar feelings o le puedo dar characteristics? Characteristics. Characteristics, exactly. So I will say my vacation was tiring. Okay, estuvieron cansadas, right? So, it's the same example with the adjective <laughs> bored. What is the meaning of bored? Oops. Uh -huh. Aburrida. Exactly. So, what is the meaning of boring? The translation is exactly the same. So, if I'm talking about a movie, ¿cómo estuvo la movie? So, it was bored or boring? What do you think? Boring. Boring, boring. correct. So, you see, boring, ing, is for characteristics. Ed is for feelings. But remember, here we are talking about adjectives okay be careful with that now another detail people is can i say that people is boring in this case people is plural so we have to say are but we are talking in simple past so yes. instead of yeah, are right. where. where where correct a very good job so my vacation is very nice hmm, i'm talking in simple past my vacation was very good my vacation was very nice Okay, so remember, simple past, we are trying to use was or where. Okay, good job because you are describing it. So remember everyone, simple past is a little bit complicated. Yes, but it is not impossible. So don't get frustrated. We will continue practicing this topic during the rest of this course. So don't frustrate. You can do it. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So everyone, when you listen to your names, say present. Let's see, Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Very good. Um, Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. Okay. Celia Cristina. Celia. Okay. Henry Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Right. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay. Jose Ezequiel. Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocío. Present. Okay. Carla Sofía. Present. 
Okay, Carol Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Good, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay, Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay, Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay, Stephanie Michelle. Jan Siquelita. Present teacher. All right. Jose Marvi. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Great. Okay, everyone. So very good job with the speaking. Remember, we will continue talking and speaking in simple past. Now we already practiced the verb to be, was, and where. But what happens if I want to give more details? What happens if I want to use different verbs? So that's what we are going to check right now. I'm going to share the regular verbs. What is the main characteristic of the regular verbs? Uh -huh. They right. finish e with the e -D. E -N -D. Excellent. So basically the characteristic of the regular verbs, they finished in ed. So very good. They, they are very simple, right? For example, I have the verb play. What is the past form of play? Ah, I just need to add ed. The verb want. The past form, ah, I just need to add ed. Very simple. What is the problem with these verbs? Uh -huh. Can I say play it? Ah, I play it soccer. Is that correct? I played. Ah, very good. So if you see, they had different pronunciation. That is what the main deal with these verbs. We have three options when we are going to pronounce them. The first option is like pronounce it like id, id. Which verbs are going to be pronounced like that? The verbs that are ending in T or in D. So, for example, the verb want. What is the last sound in want? What is the last sound? T? Exactly, the letter T. That's the last sound. So, in simple past, is like this. So, the pronunciation is id. So what will be the pronunciation? One. Wanted. Exactly. Wanted. Wanted. Uh-huh. Now, how about the side? What is the last sound? Remember, I'm not talking about letters. I'm talking about sound. When you say the side, what is the last sound? Decide. So, Decide. pronunciamos la letter E? Do we pronounce the letter E? Aside. No. No, no. right? E. So, the last sound is D. So, look. D. A. In simple pass, what will be the pronunciation? Decided. 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 Very good, very good. Decided. So, the next option. The verbs that are ending in voiceless sound. What is the meaning of voiceless? Voiceless means those verbs what the last sounds doesn't have vibration. For example, make this sound. 
Mm. Can you make this sound? Mm. And touch, <laughs> touch your throat. Mm. Do you feel vibration on your throat? Mm. Yes or no? Do you feel vibration? Teacher. Mm. Yes. What is throat? Oh, garganta. Throat is garganta. So, okay. touch, toquense la garganta, touch your throat, and make the sound. Mm. Mm. Do you feel vibration? Sienten vibración? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, si sienten vibración, right? Vibration. A eso se le conoce como voice. But what about the sounds? Do you feel vibration? Yes or no? No. Not really, right? So that is no vibration. Y si no tiene vibration, es conocido como un voiceless. Now, imagine the verb, for example, let's see, uno fácil, wash. I wash the car, wash. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? What is the last sound? Wash. Uh -huh. This is the last sound. Shh. I can wash. Do you feel vibration when you make the sound? Shh. No. 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 So, in simple past, the pronunciation will be like a little T, like T. -t. So, we will say washed. Washed. We cannot say wash it. Uh uh. Washed, washed, okay? The old, for what? example, uh -huh. another mm -hmm. example, kiss. Do you feel vibration when you say kiss? Kiss. Oh. No vibration. So in simple past, what will be the pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Kiss. Kissed. Kissed. Okay. So you need you need to add a letter T. Kissed. Kissed. We cannot we uh -huh. we cannot say kisses. No. Kissed. Kissed. With the letter T at the end. Now look at the next verb. For example, the opposite when we have vibration. Clean. Do you feel vibration when you pronounce the last sound? Clean. Clean. Touch your throat. Clean. Do you feel vibration? Yes or no? Clean. No. Are you sure? Clean. 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 We have yeah. vibration. So in this case, this is voiced. So the pronunciation in past will sound like a letter D. Cleaned. Cleaned. What is the pronunciation? Cleaned. 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 Okay, so those are some of the examples about the pronunciation. So what you have to keep in mind, number one, the verbs that are ending in T or in D. If the verb is ending in T or in D, you pronounce it like id, id, wanted, Decided. If the verb is voiceless, that means that the last sound doesn't have vibration, you pronounce it like t, t, letter T. 
the opposite, if you have vibration, you pronounce it with the th, th. Okay? So, another way to identify the pronunciation of these ones is this box. Look. The ones that are ending in T or D is easy to identify, right? But si les cuesta averiguar si vibra o no vibra, right? Aprendanse las letras. If the verb is ending in these letters, like in these sounds, in this case, you will pronounce it with t, t. If the verb is ending in these sounds, so you will pronounce it with d, d. Observations. Look at the verb use. Is ending in the letter S. So you can say, teacher, la letra S no vibra, right? S. But remember that in English, use is not pronounced like use. It's pronounced like a Z. Use. So, vibration. So you will say, used. I used to play soccer. Used. Okay? So, you can try to fix, I mean, to memorize this, right? But it's easier with the practice. For example, Everyone, what is the pronunciation of this verb in simple past? Can I say danced? Dance. Again? Dance. Danced, can I say that? Dance. <laughs> Danced, that's Danced. the one. Danced. Danced. Danced, very good. How about, mm, let's see, this one. Can I say call it? What is the pronunciation? Cold. Very good. Cold. Cold. Now, let's see a practice. I know that maybe in this moment you can feel it like a little bit difficult. Again, don't worry because we are going to continue practicing this topic. I have here these verbs. Tell me where do you think the correct position is? Can you see the verbs, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay. For example, clean. Where? Cleaned, cleaned, or cleaned? One, cleaned. two, or three? Three. three. Ah, pronunciation? Clean. Clean. Cleaned, mm. very good, Cleaned. very good. How about, this is a very common verb, work. Worked, worked or worked? Worked. Worked. Three. Okay, three, are you sure? Yes. yes. Worked. Worked. Okay, let's go back to the box. Look. What is the last sound in work? Word. Ah, K. K. ¿Y qué pasa con los que terminan en sonido de K? Word. Voices. Is with the letter T. So, can I say worked or worked? Word. 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 Worked. Worked. Right? Is with ED. Very good. Uh, let's see, let's see. Another one. Need. What do you think? One. Needed. Number one? Yes. Needed, yes. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Rent. Three, rent. So number three, rent. No. Number one. Number one. So what is the pronunciation? Rent. 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 Rented. 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 Remember, the first option, eso sí se pronuncia el ed. 
exactly as it is. So we will say rented, rented. Okay, let's see another one. Mm, help. Help you. Number, Number one, two. two or three? Number three. Number, Number one. Number, Number two. two. Okay. Number two. Let's see. Remember, ¿quiénes van en la number one? The ones that are ending in T or in D? Number two. So, in the number two, are you sure? Let's see. Veamos. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? What is the last sound? Is the letter P. Look. Letter P. T. Helps. Helps. Ex Helps. Exactly. So we will Helps. say helped. Helps. Helped. Helped. Helps. Very good. Number How two. about, let's see, enjoy. Three. Enjoy. Do you agree, everyone? Number, number one. Enjoy it. Number one. Enjoy. Okay, remember. Number three. Number three. Okay, what is the last sound? Termina en T o en D? Yes or no? No. 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 It's ending in the letter Y. So it's a vowel sound. So it's enjoyed. Enjoyed. Okay? So be careful, everyone. Remember this list. Look, letter Y. Enjoyed is... D, D, okay? Now, let's see the next. Mm, invite. What do you think? Invite. One. The one. Number one? Yes. What is the pronunciation? Invited. Number one, invite. Invited. Invited. Very good. It's ending in T sound. Very good. What about fond? Fond. Three. Number three. Number three? Yes. So what is the pronunciation? Fond. 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 Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Mm, look. Number two, look. Look. Okay, what is the pronunciation? Look. Look. Looked. 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 Ah, Looked. excellent. Very good. Okay, I need a volunteer. Pick a verb and tell me what is the correct pronunciation. Volunteer? Uh -huh. Atilia? Okay, Atilia first. Ask. Oh. Okay, Atilia, ask. Or which one? Wash. Okay, Atilia, wash. Where? In the number one, two, or three? Yeah. Where? In number two. Number two, wash. Number two. Yes, very good. Yes. Exactly. Washed. Okay, another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Yes. Which one? Choose a verb and tell me what is the correct pronunciation. Choose a verb. Elija uno. Choose a verb. Ask. Okay. Where? Asked. One, two, or three? Two. Asked. 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 Very good. Asked. Excellent. Another volunteer, please. Who wants to try? Kiss. Uh huh. Kiss. E ID like this, kiss it. Are you sure? 
Yes. Okay, what happens if it is ending in the double S? Look. Number two. Kiss. It with the letter T. Kissed. Kissed. It's Remember, in the number one, only the verbs that are ending in T or D. Okay? Anyone else? Volunteer. Who wants to try? Sure. Yes, go ahead. Start. Start. Uh-huh. Where? Start. In the number one? Start. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay, quickly, anyone else? Tell me another verb. We are going to finish with this. Collect. Which one? Collect. Okay. Where? D. Number three. Pronunciation. Cold. Cold. Very good. Okay. Listen. What do you think? Listen. Listen. Number three? Listen. Yes. Yes. Listen. Listen. And the last one? Want. Want. Wanted. 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 Very good. Very good. So everyone, this table, this is going to help you a lot, okay? So I could see some of, uh, one of your classmates already sent this in the group, thank you. So this box is going to help you a lot, all right? So let's continue practicing this topic. Try to practice, okay, you uh, at home in your free time so you can improve with this topic. And no worries, again, we are going to continue practicing this topic uh, during the rest of this um, course, okay? Any questions about the pronunciation? No. No, teacher. no questions? Okay, just let's see, Carol is here. Carol? Or let's see, okay. Um, everyone, we are going to finish Me? here. Yes, miss. Ah, okay, thank you, Carol. Sorry, I haven't seen you. Okay, we are going to stop here, everyone. So the winner, Carol, you have to stay, okay? And okay. The, the rest of you, everyone, you can go. Good night. Try to relax, practice, work on the platform, and see you tomorrow, okay? okay bye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Bye. Tony. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Is is your is your father okay? Um, a little bit better, but we need to to go to the hospital tomorrow. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. Uh, but uh, a little bit of uh, pain, but is not controlled. Okay. I try to 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 still the the, the better. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the better form or, or of the bed, the the um, the, um, the things that they he need in in, in, in the in the house and yeah so, uh, okay so it's difficult because he's a person with eighty one years ago and yeah, you were yeah. years uh, of uh, of age and, and well yeah I hope he gets better soon so thank you thank take you care so of much. him okay good night thank see you, you tomorrow thanks. Okay, everyone, goodbye, goodbye. Only Carol stays, please. Good night, good night. Good night, miss. <laughs> okay, hello, Carol, how are you? Hello, I'm tired. I'm tired. very, very work, yes. A lot of work? Yes, and tomorrow, uh, Friday, uh -huh. I go to uh, Guatemala. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, the um, esta semana uh, he estado super ocupada plan planeando mucho trabajo, entonces por eso es que he estado así que un poco. Uh, yeah, that you cannot participate a lot. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. So Guatemala is for work. Yes. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Will you connect to the class? Yes, yes. Um, Friday, I don't know the. No, no sé el viernes. Eh, si todo el tiempo o si a las nueve me voy a poder conectar el viernes. Ok. Pero sí voy a ser pendiente. Hoy me llamó Carla. Ajá. Carla. Entonces, ese, para el otro módulo me van a cambiar de programa. Eh, por, por esto mismo, porque tengo una nueva eh, como responsabilidad en el trabajo. Entonces, eso ya me lo acaban de dar. Entonces, esta semana. Entonces, yeah. por eso he estado así. Y me dijo de que, que este módulo lo terminara así, que me conectara a las dos horas. Que yo, yo estudio después. <ríe> lo, los videos, el video de, de que suben a YouTube, los estudios, hago los ejercicios y este módulo es la primera vez que me pasa esto. Entonces, por eso es que he estado así y estaba dudando si iba a probar el módulo o no por esa situación. Entonces, eh, he estado viajando casi tres horas para poder regresar a la casa. Entonces, oh algunos God. días a las nueve, ya no, ya no había podía porque me han empezado a doler los ojos y la cabeza. Yeah, sí. Ajá, pero es una situación propia que me ha tocado en este módulo. Los anteriores he estado full. Tranquila, <risa> sin ningún problema. Sí, ajá, pero en yeah. ese, en ese sucedió eso, pero eh, Carla me llamó hoy para, creo que están como confirmando quiénes se van a inscribir en los siguientes módulos. Uh -huh. Entonces me cambió a uno que voy a tener nada más de 8 a 9 y de lunes a jueves. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, esa opción uh -huh. es como un poquito más corto. Ajá, uh -huh. ya para que no le toque tan pesado, porque sí veo que sí le está tocando súper pesado. Exageradamente, entonces de hecho en ese momento todavía no he terminado de enviar unas cosas por, para el, la actividad del evento, es un seminario. Uh -huh. Entonces de, de, es de viernes a domingo, pero mañana me tengo que ir. Entonces, yeah. por eso. Así que sorry, teacher, que no he estado así. No, no, uh, no. Bien, pero, pero sí yo estudio y después me pongo a, a repasar todo. La, lo que, cosas que no me van quedando claro, la voy es, estudiando y, te, y he impreso el, el libro. Entonces ahí ando Good. haciendo las cosas y todo para poder estar un poquito, pero que tenga algo así que no entienda nada en absoluto. Mm, todo tengo como, es como un refuerzo más sobre los módulos anteriores, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. no tendría sí. algo así que diga que se me complique exageradamente, solo que sí me falta vocabulario y practicar más. Practicarlo, ya. Yeah. Si se fijan, los topics de este nivel básicamente son como un review de los anteriores. Right. Así que lo que puedo ver eh, y la felicito porque en cuanto a la plataforma ha salido muy bien en la semana 1 y 2 y en el examen también salió bastante bien. Así que excellent job. Um, sé que ha estado bien ocupada y sé que va a estar bien ocupada, pero espero que pueda avanzar un poquito en lo que es la semana 3 para que no se me vaya a atrasar mucho. All right. No, esa es la idea y que y reforzar. Yo de verdad, yo estudio lo, todo lo demás y me pongo a hacerlo hasta que me sale bien. Entonces, y, y si no, pido ayuda. Entonces, mm -hmm. en mi trabajo hay dos maestras de inglés. Super good. Que ellas sí, sí son maestras de inglés y Excellent. pueden. Entonces, cualquier cosa y les pregunto para algo que no entiendo, entonces ahí, ahí voy avanzando y gracias por la paciencia y, y yeah, esta situación it's, espero it's la pleasure, otra semana yeah. estar mejor esperemos que sí recordemos ya solo una semana más y ya se termina este nivel así que yo lo entiendo perfectamente, no se preocupe eh, veo que hace un gran esfuerzo y eso es de admirar así que siga así please eh, y espero siempre verla conectada en clase aunque sea ahí sin participar tanto pero que siempre esté acá y sí, en lo que puedo ahí voy participando y voy revisando pero gracias entonces eh, no tendría nada como que pedirle en ese momento uh, porque ahí voy yo 
aclarando un poco lo que, lo que no entiendo. Eh, yo soy maestra de lenguaje y literatura. Ah, entonces, oh, ajá, entonces la parte de la gramática, sí entiendo. Súper de, fácil. Es una, es una, no, no tan fácil porque si inglés es muy diferente. Creo que nosotros lo tenemos más complicado y a veces yo trato de complicar las cosas. Yeah. Pero ya después veo que no es más sencillo en inglés. Pero sí entiendo bien el tema de como un verbo, un adjetivo, todo lo que es la, una preposición sí sé qué son y cómo se usan solo que tengo que aprenderme las más, las que son en inglés es nada más yes. bueno, pero lo está haciendo súper bien Carol así que siga así, please y bueno, si no tiene más preguntas no le quiero quitar más tiempo porque sé que está saturada de trabajo haciendo maletas Oye, <risa> a, empezar, a empezar a eso oh my okay. gosh, ok, que tenga un lindo viaje Carol, que todo le pueda salir bien y que logre descansar al menos un poco esta noche bueno, gracias. Okay, good night. Good night.